What's up everyone, I hope you're all doing good and this is the start of my top 10 games of 2014 list and we're going to start this off with my number 10th best game this year which is Destiny a controversial game to say the least for all you who don't know, Destiny was Ari, the most hyped game that came coming out this year and when it got released, let's just say it didn't it met interest in criticism and this would go on for at least a month or two, maybe even longer. It was definitely one of the most controversial aspects of the gaming industry and the gaming scene this year. I don't want to. I I believe I previously done a Destiny review, but I'm just going to do a, a well a review again, but in a sort of way, just to clarify why it's on the list, why it's this low, and why it's not higher, what they I expect them to do in the future to improve Destiny. But alas, let us begin. Well, see, the thing with Destiny is this is going. This review is going to have a very central team, and that team is Double Edged Sword. You see, the thing is, for everything Destiny does right, it also does something wrong. So every positive it has, it has a negative, or sometimes it'll have two or three negatives. But, uh, like, and let's begin. I'm going to try not to bash this game, because I believe in being fair. But, at the same time, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sigh away from all the negative views and stuff that it has. So... I want to start off with the graphics. Pretty, pretty much the main thing that most people associate with games these days. Graphics is like one of the main things, like 60 frames per second, total AP, but I'm not going to get into that. But most people look at graphics a lot these days to judge if a game is going to be good or not. With Destiny, the graphics are brilliant. Like, the when you go to a planet such as Mars and Phoenix, the worlds are colourful, they're vibrant, they are exactly what I imagined walking on these planets would be like. Like Mars is a desert wasteland, which is pretty much what I expect Mars to be if I was walking on there. Venus is lush and colourful environment, while it's plant life and its own ecosystem, which honestly, I could picture Venus being like that, it just, it seems to feel right. Then the moon. Pretty much the standard, just an normal moon, but I, they have a nice little feature when you look at Earth. When you start walking on the map, and if you look at Earth, the Earth is slow, slowly rotates to where, where you are on the moon, and it's really good. But the thing is, as good as the graphics are, the double edged sword is, <laughs> is that these planets look so good, but the problem is, there's only two planets besides Earth in this game. And that's really not good enough for Destiny, which was advertised to be this. Big, awesome, uh, MMO slash first person sewer cooperative experience that spread across the entire solar system. Well, our, so our solar system. And the thing is, you have Venus, you have Mars, Earth, and you have the Earth's moon. Problem is, that's it. There's no Neptune, no Uranus, no Saturn, there's nothing. And what makes it even worse is that the, why the multiplayer te like team de competitive maps in this game. It's based on Mercury, a place we don't even visit in this single player campaign or anywhere, just that map. So that hints towards me that they had Mercury in the game, but they just decided to leave out the planet. More than likely for one of the game's probably biggest problems is directs and aim towards DLC. But I'll get to that soon. Before that, let's move on to the next aspect. I agree the game's biggest strength, the gameplay. The gameplay in this is smooth. It, it's not in special. It's not, it's, it doesn't stray too far from your typical first person shooter controls. But the thing is, the controls are so smooth. The, the reaction time is near perfect. The game play just excels on so many levels. I've never had a problem with the gameplay. I, I, I think it's actually the most smooth gameplay for first person shooters I've ever played. Even, and even when you're in matches, in some first person super multiplayer games, such as Call of Duty and Battlefield, when you sue people, they don't exactly die as much as you'd like them to. Not for the lack of trying, not for that you're shit, it's just when you, the, when you, the bullets hit the body, it doesn't, they don't seem to go down, it's like, it's unfair, the bullet, the death ratio, it's just, the sun off, but in Destiny it never felt like that. I thought in Destiny, it just felt right, the entire gameplay, multiplayer, single player, it just felt right, it felt good. They really put a lot of effort into the multiplayer, into the gameplay I should say, but the problem is, that's where it goes wrong again, because the gameplay is so good, but there's just a lack of content in Destiny, and that's its biggest flaw. Well, aside from one other thing, but I'll get to that later as one. Well. The lack of content, you go through this game, and it's the gameplay is solid, the co-op is fun with your friends, the competitive aspect of the multiplayer is great, but here's the problem. The matchmaking is great. You you can find it easily, but then you see there's a lot of grinding 
in this game. And that's not regret because M mode is usually associated with grinding. It helps make the game last longer. But sometimes they go a bit unfair with it. Like there'll be certain items that are really rare to get. And you'll have to like do a certain offense every week. And for example, there's this there's raids in this game. Problem is, do you do matchmaking for your standard uh, strikes, which is like mini raids, I suppose I'll call them in this game, which are cooperative, objective, team based missions. Then you have competitive with your team death match or capture the flag and all that good stuff. Problem is, if you want to do offense, special offense, weekly offense that give you all these necessary stuff to upgrade your gear and unlock new loot, you have to go online or ask people in your hub area to join you, which is okay, I suppose. But here's the thing most people would prefer to just get into the game. If you have a bunch of friends, fine. But for people who don't have a, many friends playing Destiny, or for those who don't feel going online, you have, you're screwed. Because you have no matchmaking system to go into raids, to go into weekly strikes, and uh, get all the necessary stuff, in order to upgrade your loot, so you can play better, and be equal to everyone else. And that's a really stupid decision, I have to say, for Bungie. I mean, this is the people who made Halo. Halo, it's based on matchmaking multiplayer, but they couldn't put it in for this. For Destiny, where it spends like $500 million in budget for the game, and I understand not all of that went into Destiny itself, maybe like for future expansions, sequels, advertising, but they must put a fair chunk of that budget into the game, and they couldn't just put in simple matchmaking. I think it's not that they couldn't, it said they don't, which it just seems fishy anyway. But what makes it even worse is that when you do get into a co-op game, it is so much fun. But that's what just, it just sucks about it. And what makes it even worse as well is that it's clearly aimed towards DLC. Because before I get into the game's biggest weakness, I'll go into one of the last game's biggest strengths. It's music. The music is so epic in this game. The soundtrack is incredible. Uh, but again, that's the problem. Because you never do stuff in the single player or multiplayer campaign or what that merits. The type of epic music that is found in this game. You don't do anything that feels like the music matches its epicness, its majesty. And that, it just really makes the game feel kind of weird that way. But the thing is, the story is the biggest weakness. And this is where the music even feels weirder. Because the music plays a lot through the single player campaign, the story mode. Which can be playing co -op. But the thing is, you ne no point in the story does it peak to a point where it requires that epic music. And none of the boss battles are particularly epic or special either. So it just gets you wondering... What is going on? Because he made Halo, and I, I personally love this Halo single player story campaigns. I think they're some of the best first person series stories you have out there. But the problem is, is that the story. There's, there's a lot of things about like, false advertising, and Destiny, when it was advertising, it, advertising like, it may look like this world was going to have an epic story, it'd be interesting characters, travel these interesting areas. But when you get the game, it just feels empty. It feels like a husk. Like. What's the word? It feels like a shell of what it could have been. The story, there is no story. It's mainly just going point to point, giving you a brief explanation of the area and just the thinnest tread of path that leads you to all this mini, if they call it a story. And it really disappoints me because you can sense the potential. Because there's a lot of lore in this game. But I believe, I forget the name of the cards, but if you go on the Bungie website, you can look at these cards and it gives you like lore aspects. Of the background to destiny of the enemies, the creatures, the historical event. And it sounds amazing. It sounds incredible. But the thing is, you don't get any of it in the single player story. And that makes it worse because there's so much potential. And that's the main point of destiny. Potential. You can see the potential in this game. There are so many moments where you think this could really be something. This could be amazing if they just did it right. But no. There are so much focus and DLC has ruined this game. I mean. Like. I, b I believe there's an incident that happened a couple of months ago where some people managed to get into the Destiny, I'm not sure how I'm hacked, wherever, into the Destiny uh, code, I believe, and they found this area that was intended for DLC. And I'm like, really? They have, and this happens in a lot of games, not just Bungie, this happens in the game industry everywhere. They'll make content that's already made but won't put in the game because they want to get a quick cast off it. And that's just ridiculous. If you're going to build content for an MO, I understand. People have been doing that for ages. But don't, but don't do shady business tactics like that and at the end of the day Destiny it had so much potential but it just disappointed and that's where all this cr critical reception is getting from why everyone is so critical of the game and then you're probably asking then well Graham if that's the case why the hell is Destiny in your top 10 why is it number 10 in your list was 2014 a bad year for gaming for me no 
And despite what people say, I thought 14 was a great year for gaming. Not the best, don't get me wrong. I was, I was entertained. And, de and there's plenty of other games that could have replaced Destiny on this list. But the reason Destiny is number 10 on my list is because I, honest to God, have played this game more than any other game this year. This game, when you get into it, when you play co-op and competitive, you really get into it. It is the most fun you could ever have in the first person shooter. You play with your friends, your people like on strikes, it's so much fun. Playing the hard difficulties, you have to work together to face the boss battles. You play competitive, it is so much fun. As I said, the competitive feels fair, it feels fun, it feels fluid, action packed. But the thing, and I just can't, I had to put it on my list. But I knew it couldn't be high because over all the stuff and the disappointment. But I felt it belonged because despite the disappointment, I thought it was a really fun game. And I probably played as long and more than anything else because despite the lack of content and small selection of maps and modes, it was really fun. And if a game can get me to play for like 50 to 100 hours and have fun while I'm doing it, then it must have done something right. So why I am disappointed with Destiny... I will not deny that it is, a, it is a good game. It is not a bad game. But it is a giant disappointment of a game. So that's why it's my number 10. Because I played it. And if anyone out there looking for a fun shooter. To play a co-op. Destiny is probably after going on price now. So I definitely recommend you check out Destiny. Because it's worth playing if you if you want a fun first person shooter. That has great gameplay. Great graphics. Great sound. And it's just a hell of a time to play. And that is why Destiny is my number 10. And... As always, thank you for watching, and I recommend pick up Destiny if you haven't, because it'll be cheap and it's a, it's a well worth first world suit to play if you're interested in the multiplayer. So as always, thank you for watching, and see you next time.